Assalamu alaikum. So we're continuing our tour here and um, we know in the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that uh, Maryam, of course, her parents basically gifted her to the temple thinking that they would have a boy. Turns out it's a girl, it's Maryam. They gift her to the temple. Her uncle, Zakaria, uh, takes charge of her and raises her in the temple. Her entire life, she's a worshiper of Allah. She's a devout uh, a worshiper of Allah. She becomes the most respected and venerable lady uh, in the history of humanity. As Allah says in the Quran that Allah has chosen you over all women women of the uh, world and according to again and all of this is legend by the way we don't know for sure exactly the locations but you know people kind of sort of record general areas and it is rumored that the legend goes that what we're about to see is the the area not the original structure obviously what you're going to see the bricks and the stones clearly this is only going back 2000 years or, or or less than that so it's not the original bricks and stones but the, the, the legends have it that this is the region or this is the area where Maryam السلام, basically was raised uh, growing up and this is where she was secluded and this is where Jibreel came and gave her the good news that Allah Azza wa is going to bless her with a with a uh, boy. And uh, if you um, pass the, the phone, just pass it here. Yeah. And this is, this is the uh, place it is said. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it inshallah. This is the place it is said. That's Maryam alayhi salam. And again, this is not the actual brick. This is not the actual stones, but this is the uh, place. And if you can see over here, there is uh, a structure that is alleged to be the place where uh, Maryam alayhi salam was uh, and where the good news as well uh, came to her. And in the end, really only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the exact place. And even if it wasn't exactly here, even if it wasn't exactly here, uh, then clearly it was in this region is the point. It's somewhere in this region. This this place, you can see why it is so sacred and holy for Jews and Christians and Muslims. So much history here. Sulaiman and you know Dawood and, and here we have Jesus and, and Maryam and everywhere. I mean, uh, we're going to get to Jesus in a while. Some of the things that he also is alleged to have done took place in exact areas that are to this day mark so subhanallah we can see why this area is so blessed and holy and also so fought over and so contested everybody wants you know to be uh, in this in this blessed vicinity we ask Allah Azza wa Jal that peace and serenity return to this land as it should be and we'll continue the tour inshallah